This video is a tutorial on performing infield correction on a Zivit camera using Zivit Studio. After we start Zivit Studio, we can run the camera in live mode. This way we will get visual feedback as we place the calibration board in the field of view of the camera. For robot mounted applications, we need to make sure the robot is in the capture position. For bin picking, this is the pose where the top of the bin is visible. Multiple captures are recommended for the infield correction, with the calibration board placed in different positions, spanning our working volume of interest. For bin picking, that is the entire volume of the bin. We can start by placing the board at the top of the bin. Then we open the infield correction tool in Zivit Studio and click Capture and Measure to get our first local dimension trueness measurement. We then continue capturing the board at different locations in our volume of interest. Once we've covered the bin top, we can capture the board at a couple of positions at the bin bottom. Notice that for this particular camera and this local measurement at the bottom of the bin, we are getting 0.07% dimension trueness. Once we've covered the bin top and bottom, we can also take some captures in the distance between. Generally, it is good to cover more distance above and below the camera imaging range for our application. In this case, I've placed the board slightly above the bin top. Notice again that we are getting 0.07% dimension trueness. Once we've captured our infield correction data set, 8 captures in this case, we can save the correction to the camera. As you can see, the expected post correction dimension accuracy is 0.12% or better. For most of the field of view, inside the distant range that we have covered with our infield correction captures roughly from 600 to 900 millimeters in the camera Z axis. We can now restart the infield correction tool to get local dimension trueness measurements after correction and verify that infield correction has actually improved our camera. After clicking capture and measure, we can see that for this calibration board position, we now get 0.01% dimension trueness compared to 0.7 and 0.13% before the correction. Similarly, at the bottom of the bin, we get 0.02 and 0.03% compared to 0.07 and 0.13% before the correction. This is how we know the camera is now more accurate than before the infield correction. For robot mounted applications, we recommend permanently mounting a Zivit calibration board somewhere in the robot cell because then you can automatically run infield verification and if needed, infield correction.
If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us by sending an email to customersuccess@zivit.com and we will gladly help you.